in my honest opinion, I do think Elon goes lower. And then today I want to talk about when I will be entering Elon, entering my trade. I want to let you know what price points I'm looking for and what I see in the near future for the Doge Alarm Mars token. So if you like videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur inside the algorithms we need as much positive awareness on cryptocurrency you see the news you see how the media is trying to tie us into a, a negative light so right now i'm asking everybody to interact with these videos we need the engagement we need the awareness and to share positivity across the entire space now, let's talk about doge alarm mars right because family i'm not saying that it's a bad token or or you know the devs aren't working i Frankly, the community is very vibrant, vibrant, excuse me. We've been seeing a lot of new holders as the price has been going down, which is actually a bullish sign. And of course, the developments like the AI potential locker and the Rufus chain. But what I want to talk about is why, family, I'm being patient with finding my entry point in this specific token now i do believe 2021 tokens will rise again and the reason i say that is because we can expect a large influx of liquidity into the crypto market because everybody's predicting this a bull market to be one of the the biggest one one for the ages as, as they would say and because we're seeing a lot of inst entities like institutions BlackRock and so many ETFs on the way. A lot of people are tying those those trillions of dollars that could possibly pour into cryptocurrency into some of these altcoins and even meme coins. But family, we're not out the woods yet. We still have pain on the way. And I personally don't think Q4 is going to be as bullish as many um believe. Now you can see here the CPI inflation is 3.7%. Um a little bit higher than I think the, the expectation was 3.6. But look at the basic necessity infl uh, uh, inflation. Car insurance, 18.9%. Car repair, 10.2%. So you go out there to get your car repaired or something. I mean, you know, you might, you know, what, what you going to choose? Meme coin or getting your car repaired? Transportation, rent inflation, homeowner inflation, food away from home inflation is insane. Trust me, I know. And meat and poultry inflation. So, while inflation is down from its highs, many basic necessities are still seeing 5% plus more in inflation. So these numbers um, for a lot of these necessities are up 5% and in some cases more. And I would argue that a lot of people just aren't putting cryptocurrency and especially meme coins at the top of their totem pole. Not to add family, if we swing over to some of the charts, I'm still bearish on ETH. Um, um, for the for the month and the week, even though I think that we do see a nice little rise from ETH as the stock RSI is looking to reset and turn bullish, um, we're still bearish as far as the balance of power. You can see here we're under the line here, which is a little bit bearish on the balance of power. I want to add that if we swing over to the monthly charts, it's looking a little, it's looking even more. You know, uh, the, the light is looking a little bit dim on the monthly charts let's let's re refresh this and and frankly let me know inside the comments man are you loading up on meme coins is is that the is that the wave right now yeah i don't think it's the wave right now i mean i'm i, I just don't think it's the wave i'm, I'm kind of bearish here on um ethereum on the monthly you can see here um it's looking real real ugly a clear as day lower high from up here right you can you can you can actually see it Let, let's actually draw this correctly um, you can see the lower high here, and it's, it's telling me that we could possibly go lower when I look at the stock RSI, and um, and that again, that's just just my opinion on how how I'm what I'm seeing on the chart. This is the monthly, which tells me Q4 is it, it might be a little bit ugly, which is a opportunity again for people that's looking to find these entry points. I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a whole bunch of randos that walk into crypto, right? Rock into crypto and literally slay it because they just came in at the perfect time um, we're seeing heavy accumulation on the total uh cryptocurrency market right here is which we want to say we are clearly in an accumulation cycle and it looks like the the week or so maybe the next couple of weeks we can get some bullish momentum uh bitcoin maybe go to 30k but i think it gets rejected because looking here at the uh, monthly and again you can see um the the balance of power we were bearish there we're also um, bearish on the balance of power here. 
as you can see, we're bearish but turning bullish. And the stock RSI looks like it wants to trend to the downside on the monthly. And you can again on the total, this is the entire cryptocurrency market uh, market cap here. You can see that we clearly pin it, put in a lower high and we are again losing momentum. Um, the what I would look for is somewhere around 800, 900 billion um, dollar retracement. So we're, we're sitting, we're, we're even roughly holding that trillion dollar um, level here for cryptocurrency. But I'm predicting that we we in some time in Q4, we tap 800 billion and 900 billion before we totally see that reversal going into the halving cycle. Which brings me to Elon here, right? Um, this is the weekly charts on Elon. And you can see here, clear as day, we've been on a downtrend. We had a little bit of tops, but, you know, we had a little bit of, you know, opportunity, should I say, at reversal. But they were only tops to be rejected here at the 50-day moving average. And ever since then, we've been pretty much trending to the downside. I'm pretty sure we're under the 200-day moving average as well. And we're clearly under the balance of power. So very, very bearish on the weekly. I just think, and this is to wrap up the video here, right? I think we're going to slowly trickle down to this level here, which is around, let's see. Let's see here. I think we trickle down here, right there. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but, I, you know, it's just what I'm seeing. I, you know, just based on the, the support that we have here, I think we because literally we we have there's nothing that's there's no support. We're no man's land like we're literally in no man's land. And you got people talking about oh, I'm not even going to get into it. All right. I'm gonna just keep this video positive for for the host, because, you know, the, the that that council group is, will get you wrecked in, in my opinion. OK, but listen to me. Even if this doesn't happen, you know, preparing like it will happen, I'll give you a whole lot better uh, uh, sleep at night, right? So you can see here, we're in no man's land. There's literally no support where we're at. The only support is down here around the, let's see here. This would be like 6-1 or maybe we get to, um, yeah. Right now we're at like six two five. So we got the, the 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 last line of defense, right? To keep this little uptrend that we have going is about six one and maybe seven nine, right? So I think that we 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 go down lower, we tap seven, we 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 we, we definitely pick up another. I don't want to say definitely. Let me rephrase that. We pick up another zero, but I I think it will be very very short lived. Okay. And that is when I'll be looking to pounce on Elon, right? I'll be looking to pounce on Elon when we retrace back to seven zeros, right? Or even six one would be, you know what I mean? In my opinion, pretty good. We're, we're sitting at what? Uh, six one two. If we tap six one zero or seven nine, in my opinion, that is a great buy zone. And it aligns, aligns with the... Uh, support that we have over here because we're in no man's land and the more bitcoin goes sideways the war the the more they paint uh, crypto in a negative picture in the war the there's there's news coming out now that the sec could be going after crypto again tying um the uh, hasmaz wallets and saying crypto is being used for this for that even though they've been sent cash and all these other assets but i'm not going to get into it again but the more and then the recession of course with the, the inflation being sticky, just tells me that the meme coin, especially old meme coins, they 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 literally have no chance in this market. So I'm expecting us to tap this trend line. It's a clear as day trend line from here to here, right? Which is sitting around seven nine or six one zero. And after we tap that, because I don't think that we stay down there too long, I think it'll be something like a flash crash. After we tap that, maybe dip low, scare a few more people, then we start to head back up. And that's my opinion. Kind of uh, aligns itself with the halving cycle right around April. You can see, um, you know, maybe a little bit after April, you see um, Doja Lamar start to, to run back up. But that's my sum that's my summary of what I'm seeing. Um, I think we go lower. Uh, we have this trend line. That's our friend right here at about 7.9 or you could say 6.10. I think that's the magic number if you wanted to find an entry point. If you've never bought Elon before, I would look to you know, enter somewhere around there. But I think we tap it because that's where our, our, our next support is. And we literally have no support where we're at. We're hanging on. We're hanging on like a, like a, 
fingernail, right? About the break off. We're hanging on. So y'all let me know what y'all think about Elon. This is when I plan on re-entering. If I do re-enter, I'll let you guys know. And uh, y'all give me your opinion on um, the current macro environment and the recession on the way. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.